My name is Celia Young. I am a team member with the St. Albans Green Team. In the fall, I'll be attending Memorial University and I'll be studying engineering. As part of our project this summer, um, we've been researching St. Albans' role in the First World War, which was 100 years ago this year. So it's really important to keep these memories alive and think about the cultural impacts that the First World War has had. Of the first 500 that went over to the First World War with the First Newfoundland Regiment, 16 were from St. Albans. They all made it back, which was pretty exciting. Um, it was really interesting to find that out. So after the first 16 men left, left St. Albans, many other men followed after them. One of these men was Robert MacDonald, who was born in Con River, but lived most of his life in St. Albans. He was born in 1896 and joined the 1st Newfoundland Regiment at the age of 20, so in 1916. Robert was actually wounded in action twice. He suffered a wound to his left leg and was admitted to the New End Military Hospital in London. But just one week later, he was back out in the field serving. He was wounded again a year later and he was admitted to a hospital in France. But again, he went back into the field. He came home in 1919 and returned to St. Albans where he married a young woman and they had nine children. His wife died relatively early, so he was left to raise the nine children on his own. So he's a hero on the home front and in the battlefield, which I think is pretty cool. So I was born and raised in St. Albans. I was brought home from the hospital to St. Albans. I've lived here my whole life. And I find it really interesting to learn about these people who were also born and raised in St. Albans and the difference they made and the sacrifices they made to help keep St. Albans here and make it a nice free place to live. And when I look at all the names of the people who went over, I see so many familiar last names that I still see today, which really brings it home and makes it feel like important and like important to me and relevant to my life.